Hey guys, it is Richie and welcome to the drama that started my void falling into <clears throat> me watching a whole bunch of Chinese dramas and it is beyond the realm of conscience. Conscience? Conscience? I don't know. Where, um, I was supposed to say, where's my phone so I can look at conscience? Con science? Conscience? But this is a drama that got me into it on my Chinese dramas, even though this is Cantonese and it's not um, Mandarin. It's not Mandarin Chinese and it's not the um, Taiwanese where it's traditional Chinese. It is um, the simplified Chinese from um, that usually that I watch. Well, you can't hear I don't know. This. I don't know if you say any difference in the traditional or the... Um, Simplify, I think it's mostly in the writing, but yeah, but the only thing Yeah, so this is a horror Horror, it's a horror movie. Yeah, horror movie. It has sound a movie. It is a drama and it's a historical drama And it has 33 episodes it came in 2009. I didn't even know that. I don't know when I watched it, but I watched it whenever and yeah, the series is complete. I was just reading that on live, like, drama marathon alert, the series is complete. Episode 31 through 33, add that they've been at it a long time ago. I don't know why they're saying that. But, yeah, it's about two young girls join the Imperial Court as maids and find themselves pitted against each other in the battle for survival in the court. As always, in Chinese dramas, most of them, like, ended up in the, what you call it, in, um, the Yes, the palace. Oh, I forgot I watched the palace. I didn't want to finish then. I didn't want to finish watching the palace. But yeah, these are just the last episodes. And it's really good. And of course, Hunty. She didn't fall in love with the guy you wanted to be in love with. This is just the first episode. And this is just a little about Sam Liao Liu Liu. Sam Home. Whatever. Um, always reminded of her mother's last words left her before she passed away, doing good deeds, speaking good words, and showing goodwill. So Ho lives her life, being gracious and kind heart in the palace. On the other hand, you, you coming, um, believes her survival of the palace is achieved through cruel and calculating tactics, which is true because the palace is fucked up though. But, um... She cheats and schemes her way to the top and finally becomes a concubine of an emperor, though she realized that Sam Hall has fallen in love with a chest, chess um, master, Kim Hyun Yoon, um, and her jealousy is so aroused by Sam Hall's attraction to the, what? Wouldn't she have attraction? She didn't have any attraction. He had, attra okay, I'm just finished. Attraction to the Emperor Lee Yi. And fearing that she's losing her power, she ruthlessly makes up false allegations, allegations against Ho of murdering the Empress and condemns her to death. No matter how cleverly she schemes, things do not go the way she planned. And this is historical a Hong Kong melodrama. And it's a melodrama of historical romance, friendship, love triangle, relationships, betrayal, dynasty, conspiracy, royalty, Hong Kong, Cantonese, and TVB. And yes, this is the concubine that is evil. They grew up together. Um, in the beginning, um, she ends up getting her mom killed because she spilled um, red uh, candle cell on the hairpin that her mom made for the empress and it started it was a phoenix and then started dripping red um wax and they thought the phoenix was bleeding so they thought like someone's gonna kill the empress and then came at her and then she got beat and then she died from the severe wounds and then um later on they're both like trying to get into um i forget i don't i think they were both trying to get into jewelry but um Sam Hall ends up on the embroidery side 
I forget, I forget the way they go into this is like later on when they're older and they get into their positions of making stuff and there's different sectors um making stuff and these are the actors and actresses all of these they don't have everyone's picture but yeah mostly Cantonese um like I seen her in a few dramas on drama fever and let's see um these are all her dramas this one's really good can't buy me love that one's really good i really like that one. and it has the same actors as um as the one we're reviewing and yeah if you want to see them actually be together it's actually um can't buy me love and they end up together instead of like the ending of this one and and i don't know why they say um they have sam ho had attraction for him okay so this is Sam Ho right here, and this is the con wait is that her or is that someone else? This is the man that Sam Ho is in love with, and this is the emperor who's in love with her. I don't know why they say Sam Ho has attractions to the emperor when she doesn't because she's in love with the chess player, and they end up getting married. But something happens and stuff happens. You'll find out later on. And I'm not gonna spoil the ending because the ending's good. And they have like this little signature song that they sing. Mm -hmm. I wonder, I think it have it on my iTunes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, I have the intro. I had it on my playlist, but I can't show you guys. But I'm trying to see if I have it on my music. And. Mm, yeah, I have my Chinese songs on here. What? Cool. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No, it's not that. Yeah, these instrumentals, instrumentals are for my drama. I mean, for my videos that I use for like building. I need to do a build for um. Why it's fiery because that stupid wyvern because we fucking got a wyvern out of nowhere but, and it can't live with all the other stuff so I gotta find a place for it and oh, fuck mm, I should do a review of Todd Desert yeah I'm gonna do that after this but yeah because I have the song right here where is it right here and they have two songs that was the stuff with the intro song wonder if I could play like the intro song. Let's see if I can. If we'll play it and it's not at the end. Okay, because I know I don't want this video to be out there and I'm not going to show the whole thing. But this is Sam Ho right here where it ended and that's the intro. I was obsessed with it. And there was a song in the beginning. It's like, Let's see if I can find it. Um, oh wait, that's the thing. Um, but yeah. What the fuck did he? No, stop it. I got. I was gonna do. Ah. Now you guys know. Okay. Let's just not say anything. Mm -mm -mm -mm. They have a little stuff. What? What you call it? Um. song. Is this a sing song? Yeah, it's just that. Um, here, here it is. When we Oh. Uh -huh. 
not gonna play the whole thing but yes this is her little mom song to them no okay yes this is okay because there's like two dramas <sighs> there's two dramas where the mom sings them a song in the beginning and it's both of them in little huts and they end up in the palace so I got confused but that one's in Dongwen and that is in um, Mandarin this one's in Cantonese and FYI Cantonese people believe that um, in historical past, this is more like to the language that they speak instead of Zhongwen and Wushu. And so the one that the Chinese that I speak, this is Cantonese, you can hear the difference. No, Oh shit, we just learned this. Do you guys understand? Because um, I don't know. I don't, I think it's different. Yeah, it is different. This is Hong Kong. This is not like China, China, where, where I speak Zhongwen. This is Cantonese, different language. So don't get them confused because it's not the same language. Cantonese and Mandarin are different things. And then there's also Mandarin, the simplified and Mandarin the traditional and I read the traditional that's main China I mean Taiwan speaks the um, traditional one but yeah so this is just intro you got to see the intro I'm gonna put that in in the beginning because yeah and yeah the first episode is in the refugees of Kong Tao King what and her two daughters are captured as imperial mates were they captured i don't know i thought they were just brought there i thought it was a mom's decision to take them there and then kong sao king is given the task to make the empress um phoenix hair prince which i told you about which um oh wait but yes yeah she um yeah yeah i already told you she dies because what you call it where's a bad rating someone's like just can't get into this one can't decide if it's old it's too old of a series or just bad. Um, well, I thought it was really good. Here's my little rating. I gave it a five star. It's very emotional on my end. Yes, because I cried a lot. Loved it. If you are looking to watch it, do. Because you're missing out if you don't. Um, so parts. Oh, God. See, this is where my right is at. It's supposed to be. Some parts may bother you on an emotional level. But give it a try. No, I got mad. Um at parts but I push my way through but I love the story and the end and it's really good and I wish I fixed my writing there but yeah you can see my horrible writing I misspelled words yeah and typically Chinese drama is really really bad <sighs> oh I don't like this person already um rotten ending no it's good ending um way too long most chinese historical dramas are long so if you don't want to watch long dramas don't watch chinese historical dramas because they're really dramatic and they're really long but like me i like dramatic shit and they have nice ass clothes so i fucking watch them they're really good and it's too much makeup on all actors well i'm sorry if you didn't know this is the actual fucking makeup of historical chinese stuff so get over it they need the makeup because they're trying to be historical and not worth my time then don't watch it you should not watch to the end it's gonna be long you should have seen 33 episodes that's where you decide oh 33 episodes i'm not dedicated to watch this whole long drama but you just stop at the, like Watch the first episode, at least. If you don't want to watch something that's long, look at, because they always list how much episodes they have, you could decide. Because I know not everyone wants to watch, like, a full-ass long drama, which is, like, 80 episodes, like, the Empress of China. But my, I do. It, they are good. They're dramatic. You do need your breaks in time. That's why I do, like, um, drama figure because they show it all week and then in the weekend they do not show the drama so you get a break get your break um to get back into it but yeah and i start someone's root um oh i'm sorry but someone said i started watching the first episode couldn't stand the self-righteousness and selfishness and the extremely petty characters so i had to stop yeah i can understand that because they are petty they're really annoying and it's really dramatic that's why you do need your breaks to watch it because you do get pissed off 
he's right I understand that one instead of like what the other person says I totally understand and then someone was like watch 1.5 episodes and gave up not my cup of tea at all watch Sound of the Desert while you're waiting for Imperial Doctors to be released now that one's worth the wait um they're different style of dramas this one this one's from 2009 um Sound of the Desert is newer, so and it's different actresses. Actresses. This one's older, and this one's more dramatic. And then there's some good writing. It's like I really enjoy this. I like this drama set in the Imperial City. I do not like the soap operas. I usually do not like soap operas, which they are soap operas, which people don't like because they're too dramatic. But these are fun. Yeah, they are really dramatic and they're not well they kind of are stupid like american um, soap operas but they're still good i watch them more than american soap operas to be honest because i do not care about someone sleeping with their cousin that's why i don't watch um or their sibling that's why i do not watch um what was that that one dramatic one where everyone watched uh that korean drama i'll put a picture of it because i do not I'm not watching it because I don't want to see people fall in love and know their brother and sister. Everybody knows this because it's too dramatic. And Simon and Rutina always talk about it. Y'all just watch Simon and Rutina because they talk about it in their show, their little videos. So go to them. And then something where it says, all the twists and turns. Um, It seems like it could go on for a long time. Yes, because there are three episodes. The Emperor needs a new wife and things change and they could take it a long, take it a long ways. I don't like the evil people no one likes evil people and what they do and wish they could be foiled sooner but you need the bad people the people that um is showing a person progress to where they are so you need the bad people yeah some people do last long but yeah but then i guess it would be the end of it yeah because you do need it to drag on if you want in 30 episodes you can't have it that's why i like what you call it um Tied, um, tribes and imper imperials, imperials, whatever it is, I forget the title, but yeah, that one's good. The um, evil people, I actually like on this thing because they're kind of evil in a good way because you want the story to go where they said it's gonna go, and that one, that one's really good. And I'll review it after I think it ended, I don't know because it was at like 70 episodes and it ends at 75, but I'm at like 46 right now because I needed a break because I was watching it straight so I'll watch it later on but I need to have the videos up so yeah and these are the actresses oh wait I showed you them but yeah this got a 4.3 it's good if you don't want to watch something that's long and really dramatic then don't watch it and maybe just watch the trailer first watch I always watch trailers first even if drama fever doesn't have the trailer just look it up on YouTube because they do have the trailer there and yeah it's a really good this is what got me into chinese dramas and let's see we could go look if we are on here but let's see if they do have um what was i gonna do look up the trailer trailer there we go yeah wait it's just saying that um they just have the clips here's the trailer right here for 45 seconds Deep in the road. Oh my god. Oh my god. There's a second season? Oh my god, now I gotta finish watching this because I just wrote it's not the same stuff. Oh my god, they got so much more money now because they didn't have all these shots before. Yes. This is coming to Deep in the realm of conscience. Yes, this is beyond, but this is deep in the realm.
Mm. Yeah, so I, was, I wanna look this up now. We're gonna spend a long time. I'm gonna look it up to see when this comes out. We're gonna look it up because I didn't know. I didn't know because y'all if you're probably not gonna have it. Okay, wait. Did not wanna see that. Let's, let's see. Uh, 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 it's gonna have 36 episodes and it's upcoming 2018 High School. Um, historical. What is historical? Hong Kong television series by TVV. Yes. And Tengen, Tengen, um, Penguin Pictures, and it's a sequel of the 2009 Beyond the Real Unconscious. It's a sequel. Oh my god! Yes, I can't wait. Oh my god! See, it's on my drama list. Yes, go to my dramas list because they have every list of almost all the dramas, but they don't have all the information. Wait, this is not the one I'm talking about, but it says. Um, yeah. Yes, it's gonna air on Monday all the week, all the week. And it's gonna TVB is 45 minutes and the ratings not yet because it didn't freaking come out. There's 36 um members popular oh wait. Seven point seven by users. Well it didn't come out. I don't know why I got this. Yeah, so <laughs> so I was like not it's not out. Where did the ratings come from? I I don't know. I don't understand. So, I don't have to sign in. I wanted to like that. But yeah, wow, it's back. Yes, girl, I know. I didn't know. Now we know. Oh my God, now I'm happy. Yes, yeah, so you guys have to watch it if you want to, because that intro is dramatic as heck. Look at these little characters. They look all cute. I'm going to put this up there and it looks good. And it's the second one. And yes. Oh, something banging on the wall. But who gives a fuck? It's a historical and it's a romance. Yeah. <sighs> Let's read the thing of it. During the reign of Emperor Shang Tung, um, Si Man and Alice Chen stage a cop, coop, cop, cop, coop, and execute the Empress, oh, who is coordinating the um, court system. They support Li Nyongki to reclaim the throne. The palace appears to be returning to peace, but actually, the Great Way is a secret, secretly approaching on the court. The the aunt nephew what aunt nef nephew aunt nephew how are you an aunt and a nephew okay aunt nephew camp of alice and see begin um the aunt and nephew of alice and stephen begin to divide and become like fire and water within the inner palace stephen's wife nancy Wu and her favorite concubine chrissy chow compete with their beauty and cannot get along as always there's always a thing and fortune within the deceitful inner palace there is a rare integrity the hero and Heroic and righteous Imperial Guards, Kenneth Ma and Eddie Edwin So and the quiet and elegant department has Jacqueline Wong and Annie Liu 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 are four genuine people that decorate decorate the gloomy and cold palace walls with a brush of romance and add a little mystery and some people would give everything up for the most beloved while others would give up their so for power and a series is unfold a series of unsolved cases occur in the palace within the layers and layers of mystery is a long kept secret as it slowly unravels and reveals the humanity's deep thirst for power and wealth that's all dramas where you see everyone acting crazy oh my god like you see in tries and period empires yes you do need to watch tribes and empires but i'm review that my, my channel's gonna review of everything but yeah but let me end it here but now we got a little information about it and it is a um it's gonna be another season it's gonna be it's gonna be a sequel Yes, standard Cantonese, but yes, that is it. Yep, that is the review of it. You do need to watch it if you want to watch this thing coming up because it's a sequel. And they got more money this time, so it's gonna be better because they only shot it from like the interior and like a little bit of the outside, not too much that I remember. 
it's not like the other drama but yeah you need to watch it and then i'll go review um beyond the real oh no i'm reviewing it um i need to review the sour and the desert yes okay bye guys one two three <laughs>